Hello to all of you scientists. In the last video, we took a look at a gasoline powered pogo stick. So that got me thinking about what if I could gas power other things that shouldn't be gas powered. So right here, I have a little nitro RC engine. And this is the kind of little gas engines that they would use in, you know, little RC cars and RC airplanes. And I say gas, but it's really mainly powered by nitro methane. The same thing that's powered in those top field dragsters that can go like 300 miles an hour. Same thing, just very small. This can make almost two horsepower. For a tiny little engine like this, two horsepower, if you scaled that up to a Toyota Corolla, that would be like putting two Bugatti Veyron engines inside of one little Toyota Corolla. So these things have so much power for their weight. So I want to see what we can attach this to to soup up around the house. So for the first experiment, I want to try something simple. So this is a nitro RC engine from a plane. So my thought was to just put a propeller on here, mount it to something and have a cool little gas engine powered fan. All right, so I got the fan completely done. It's working good. There's no wires anywhere. Just a little bit of fuel. We'll keep it running for a long time. I would even call this fantastic. Oh no, no, no. Future Kevin is not letting past Kevin make that pun. Let's just move on to testing the fan, but first I'm gonna need you to forget you ever heard that pun. My computer really heats up the room, so I'm gonna test to see if the fan can help cool it down. The mongoose! I said the- I can't, I can't hear, I literally, I can't hear anything you're saying right now. What? 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 Kevin, I'll save you! <laughs> I think it's fine. I don't see anything wrong with this. I mean, it does blast a little bit of oil on my computer monitor. I can overlook all of that because it is such a good fan. I mean, the, the cubic feet per minute on this bad boy, perfect. You can use it for all kinds of things around the house. For example, you can see that our bathroom doesn't have a typical bathroom fan in it. And the portable fan will definitely help cover up any uh, weird smells in the bathroom. <laughs> So we saw how well this works as a fan, but what else can we do with it? How about we test its sliceability? Maybe we can use it to slice some vegetables in the kitchen. Let's slice some carrots. I didn't even notice that. That's a disaster. Wow. Okay, so this thing works way better as a juicer than it does as a fan. I thought that that would have like slowed down the engine or something or maybe broken the blades, but it powered right through all of those celery, all that carrots, like nothing was even there. That's why I was wearing a glove. Imagine that was your finger. It would probably just cut your finger right off, Sander. You think so? So as you can see by the wall over here, it is, uh, it's covered in carrots and well, I gotta clean it off because it's sponsor time. So maybe a gasoline powered desktop fan isn't the most practical thing I've ever invented. I've still got a bunch of ideas I wanna try for this motor, but this one just isn't the most practical. The sponsor for this video, however, has a bunch of really cool and practical awesome products. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands. A lot of the boxes come with products from small US based businesses. For example, this Japanese Nada style blade from Bare Bones in Salt Lake City, Utah is exactly, this is, this is what I need. I mean, you've seen where I live. I live in a jungle. I had to constant battle to keep everything from taking over. I like it. It's solid, it's heavy, it's sturdy, and like a flimsy little machete, you can really hack through some stuff with this. And there's a questionnaire to help Help make sure that you get boxes that are perfect for you too. And you get to preview the box every month before it ships and decide if that's something that you want, something you want to exchange for something else, or you just want to skip that month entirely, that's fine, no extra charge. I also got this canvas bag from the Weekender box and it's really sturdy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my old gardening tools in it and all my science knives. Then I'm going to take this bag, drive up to the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, and throw this bag off of the bridge because you know what? I don't even need these tools anymore because this is the only gardening tool I vow to ever use again. Also, I'm pretty sure the bag would survive. They have tons of cool stuff on their site. Like, look at this. Flame, a miniature indoor fire pit. You know, I'm somewhat of an indoor fire enthusiast myself. 
To get 20% off of your first box, click the link down below in the description and enter the code BACKYARD20 at checkout. Or go to bspk.me slash BACKYARD20 to get your discount. So here in Florida, we have a bunch of hurricanes, and that's kind of a problem because it knocks the power out. So I decided to build something practical. I built a miniature generator that I can use to power up little things in the house, like my phone or other electronics. So let me show you how a generator works. It's pretty simple. When you turn an electric motor backwards, it creates electricity. So here I have this nitro-powered engine turning this motor from a drone right here. When you turn it, it produces pulses of electricity. This takes those pulses of electricity and along with the capacitor, it smooths it out to a nice level voltage. And then this right here is a voltage converter. It takes the 12 volts from the motor and turns it into five volts so I can plug my phone right here into the USB. I also have a fan on the back of this motor right here. So this motor turns the fan motor and it's powered by this motor. It's just a bunch of motors powering each other. Anyway, uh, let's see how well this can power stuff around the house. Okay, so when I first built this generator, Generator, my first thought was powering a phone with it. And it works great, just fill it up with some gas, give it a nice quick pull start, plug in your phone and you can settle down for the evening having a nice relaxing time while your phone charges. But I wanted to do a test. How much will it actually charge your phone on one little tank of gas? So let's do a quick test and see what we can do. I started the test with 6% battery and it's 332. I started the motor and I let it run until the tank was empty. It took seven minutes to empty the tank and the battery level is... What? It's a 5%! For some reason, the phone just won't accept the charge. Anyway, with a few modifications, this generator can replace batteries all around the house. Can you turn it up a little bit? <laughs> You'll never run out of batteries or lose this remote. And dead batteries in the middle of a game? Never again. With this generator, you can play your favorite game for hours as long as you've got a big enough tank of gasoline. It's like the Mod Goose! Get in the... The Mod Goose! Anyway, I was brainstorming, trying to think of other things to attach this engine to, and then it hit me. A toothbrush. I 3D printed a mount that holds the motor and the toothbrush, and I put an offset weight on the end of the motor so it vibrates when the motor spins. You know video game controllers, they vibrate the exact same way, just a motor with an offset weight. Okay, so the gas-powered toothbrush is done, and I gotta say it looks a little, it looks a little serious, it looks a little intimidating, so uh, I guess I'm just gonna turn it on and see if it works. Now compare that to a normal vibrating toothbrush. Oh yeah, ours was so much better. <laughs> oh, it actually worked. Wow. Okay, number one, that's super loud. Uh, number two, it actually worked. I could feel it. It felt just like those sonic toothbrushes on your teeth. <laughs> oh my God, my eyes sting. My ears are ringing. It's hot. Just from that short run, it's really hot. You know when you're done brushing your teeth because the 3D print's gonna melt. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely works. It's actually too strong. Like, it hurts my teeth. Nine out of ten dentists definitely recommend you do not try this toothbrush. It works really good, but man, like the, the smoke that comes out of this engine. Oh, we gotta get out of here. My Let's... eyes are burning, my nose is oh, burning. I'm done. I have been brainstorming ways to try to include my Tesla coil in this video, and I figured it out. With a couple modifications, I should be able to use my generator to power the entire Tesla coil. Instead of using this voltage regulator to step down the voltage, we're putting 12 volts into this transformer and getting out 120 volts to put in the Tesla coil. More specifically, we're charging up these two big capacitors right here. And this right here is the brains of the Tesla coil. This kind of controls the Tesla coil and uh, prevents it from killing itself, which it would be more than happy to do if you're not careful. If you listen, every time it sparks, the motor loads down until it recharges the capacitors again. It's sparking once per second, but it's only actually on for one one thousandth of a second at a time. And each spark only drains about 20 volts from the capacitor, so it continues to spark even when I turn the motor off. It worked! It worked! It was so hard to get this to work. Oh, I'm so happy about that right now. Did you know, me and the Science Boys have been doing a podcast, 16 episodes, and this is the first time I have remembered to mention it. Have you ever had, like, the government show up to your house and tell you to take videos down? Kevin. Kevin! <laughs> yes, I have. There's these two guys in suits 
standing at the door. They pull up the wallet and it flips it down. Flips down. <laughs> they actually with, did that? With the That's hilarious. It's a lot of fun, go check it out. Also, I have to give a shout out to Beastie for sending me memes for 150 days straight on Discord. Come join my Discord and if you send me memes for 100 days straight, I might send you a t-shirt. Don't quote me on that, it depends on how good the memes are. And that is it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for next week when we're playing with rockets. See you next time.